Hey guys, in the fast lane here. In this video, we're going to be replacing headlight assemblies. Now, special thanks to buyautoparts.com for sending out these headlights. And we're going to go ahead and replace these ones. Now, these ones have to be replaced because they have what's called condensation inside the lens. When you get condensation inside the lens, it's pretty much done. Also, these ones, uh, the previous owner went over them with clear coat. That's a big no-no. Clear coat, when you spray them, turns yellow over time and just looks really bad. So we're going to get into that right after this. Now the first thing to do is go ahead and turn your steering wheel inward. You'll do this on both sides. So you're going to turn it to the right for the driver's side and you'll turn it to the left for the passenger. And this will allow you to get access to those little grommets on the inside wheel well. Now we'll just come over here with a flat head, push it in here and we'll pop these little plastic grommets out. You're gonna pop the middle out. This one's got like a plastic on it. Once you get the middle popped out, the other part will pop right out. There we go. We'll do that for the rest of these. Now what you're looking for is something like this where the center pops out and then you can pull the bottom out. Then you'll want to pop off all the grommets that are under here just like the wheel well. So pop all those off. Now once you pull off the wheel guard on the driver's side you're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt here. If you come down here you're going to have a 10 millimeter nut and then if you come down here there's going to be another 10 millimeter nut right behind that tab. Go ahead and remove all three of those and then the bumper should drop down. You're going to repeat this process on the passenger side. Now one thing I'd like to point out before you go pulling this bumper off is you have a side light. Go ahead and push on this little tab right here and you're going to pull out. So make sure you pull that out before you go ripping the bumper off or you could break this wire. Now once you have the three 10 millimeter nuts and bolts off, you're going to do the same thing to the passenger side. You're going to, you can push down a little bit and that'll help stretch those little rivets down a little bit. So give it a little bit of push down and then you're going to pull back. And it comes out. Now these things are where the nuts are and when the nuts tighten, it pulls these rivets down. So when you loosen them, you might have to do a little bit of pushing down to get it out. Next up, we have two 10 millimeters. We have a 10 millimeter right here on the passenger side. And if we come over here, we got another 10 millimeter right over there on the driver's side. So we'll remove those two 10 millimeters and then we'll be on to the next step. Lastly, we're gonna remove this dust cover. All you do is pull up. And then under here, we have one, two, three, four, and then five and six grommets to remove. So all you do is just come in here and same thing as the wheel wells. Now that everything's disconnected, we're just gonna slide this front bumper off and just gently set it on the ground and leave it there. We don't have to disconnect the fog lights or anything, but if you want to polish them up while they're out, you can do that. So you'll disconnect the wires. So all you're going to do is grab it right about here, give it a little wiggle. And gently set it down. And you can just let it sit right there. If you want to take the fog lights out, like I said earlier, you can just disconnect these wires, they're little clips and then the whole bumper can be moved around. So if you want to remove this fog light, you're just going to lift up right here on this clip, pull out, and you only have to remove this one cable, and then everything will slide right out. Now we're going to remove this little flap grommet so we can get access to this 10 millimeter. So we're going to put some dikes under here and just lift up. And it pops out like that. We're going to do that to this side and the other side. The 10 millimeter right behind this flap. Another 10 millimeter up top. And then a 10 millimeter underneath. 
Now make sure you do this on both sides. Now that all the bolts and nuts are out, you can go ahead and remove the lamp. You're gonna need to give it a pull because right up in this corner, there's a grommet. So get in front of it. There we go. So that grommet right there. We're gonna pull this out. And then all you have right here is just a little clip on the back right here. So I'm just gonna push in and pull out. That's it. This grommet right here, they give you a new one and that comes in the package. So you'll pop this out, put the new one in so you get a nice tight fit with that weather stripping later. Now here's the new grommet, comes with the headlamps. You're just gonna take something behind this old one, kind of push in, smack it out. Then we'll take the new one. All you do is push it right in there. There we go. So now when the new headlight goes in, there's a little ball on the end. It's going to lock in real tight. Now these headlight assemblies come with halogen bulbs, but I want LEDs, so I'm going to change them out. Now the top ones right here, these are the low beam, and the bottom ones are the high beam. These are 9006s, and these are 9005s. So all you do is just twist counterclockwise, and then in here, take the bulb, and you're going to twist counterclockwise as well, so you're going to turn it that way. Now get yourself a screwdriver, lift up on the latch, and push it out. Now I'm going to take a little bit of dielectric grease, just a little bit, kind of touch the terminals, and I'm also going to take a little bit of the grease and rub it on the outside of this gasket, because we want it to slip in here, and a lot of times people push these in and the gasket will get crunched and then it'll allow water and moisture in there and you have problems down the road. So you want that gasket to go all the way in there. So you're just going to put it up just like the other way. And you can see that gasket starting to go down real nice. There we go. We got a click and all the way around that gasket is in there nicely. Now all you do is we're going to put the bulb in the same way we took the other one out. Now I would like to offer a little tip if you guys find yourself in this predicament where you put the bulb in, the LED, and you find it's extremely loose. It's wobbling. That's just unacceptable. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. It, it happens to a lot of them. I had another one where you had to add an O-ring to it just to get it to stiffen up. This is a pretty common problem with LED kits. So we'll take this out, and what you want to do is, on most of them, like this design right here, you're going to flip open this O-ring right here, just flip it off. If you turn it around, right there, there's a Phillips. Now you're going to want to get a small Phillips screwdriver, you want to tighten that up. So pull down on it. There we go, really tight. I'm gonna go a little bit more. And we'll leave that there. Go ahead and pull the O-ring back over it. And now we'll put it back in there. So there we go, it's a lot stiffer, hardly any wiggle. Before it was super wiggly, all it's doing is moving on that rubber O-ring. Before the actual uh, 9006 clip was wobbling all over the plastic piece. So that's way better. Now one thing to pay attention to on this LED, you can see right here there's a positive and a negative. So we have the positive right here which is the blue, and then the negative would be the black. You can barely see it, but it's right there. Make sure you get that right. We're going to shove that back in there. Then you're going to put the cap back on and turn it clockwise. Next, we're going to do the high beam. This will be a 9005. You're going to counterclockwise on this cap. And make sure you grab the right one. There we go. Much easier if you got some long 
needle nose that you can just turn it. So here is the high beam. We don't have much wire to pull on it, so you're going to have to deal with what you got. Pop that off, and we'll get the 9005 high beam and install that LED. Now again, the same deal with this one. So we're going to take the Phillips and tighten it up. With this one, it's going to be the white wire. The white wire is going to be the positive, so find the positive. And these are interchangeable because you have a clip on this side and a clip on that side, so they're universal. So we want the negative that way because the black's over there. All right, so a good idea is to get it started, kind of shove it down a little bit with your screwdriver. So when you push it in, it'll just seal right up. There we go. There we go, that's what you want. All the way like that. We have one last bulb to replace, and that would be right here on the bottom. Go ahead, turn it counterclockwise, and there's just a little pull out. All you do is pull it out, just like that. It's a small halogen bulb, and I'm gonna replace it with an LED bulb. So you're gonna wanna double test this one. So once we put this one in, all you do is just push it straight in. There's no turning or anything, it just kind of pops in and stays there. Now you're going to want to go ahead and plug it in and turn the key before we put this in the vehicle just to make sure all the bulbs are working properly. So right now that small bulb, the small LED is not working. So we're going to take it out, we're going to flip it. So this bulb's not working. There we go, it's working now. There we go. And you'll probably have to do that to the other one as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the headlight assembly. We got the wire plugged in. And right here, this ball is gonna line up with that little grommet. So make sure you peel back some of this protective covering, the plastic silphane. You want it all peeled back because you're not gonna be able to get to it later. All right, here we go. I'm gonna line that ball up. Now you may find after installing the headlight assembly that the weather stripping gets crinkled a little bit. That's an easy fix, don't worry about it. Just take either a credit card or a pick or just something with plastic or paper. You're gonna start off right here on the weather seal. Just work it down until you get to the end. We'll pull another one. Guitar pick works the best, but I don't have one on hand. There we go. And that's that. Both headlight assemblies are installed. And if you're gonna go ahead and change out your daytime running lights or turn signals, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do that right now. Also your side markers, little bulb right there. Go ahead, change those out, and then we'll put the bumper back on.
before we put the bumper on, we're going to take this harness right here off the vehicle. We're going to plug this one into the side marker light. Take this one and we're going to plug it in right here. And this one does the turn signals and the daytime running lights. So I'll put the hazards on and then I'll turn the daytime running lights on and we'll have a look. We'll do that to both sides. All right, got everything plugged in. Now I'm going to go in the vehicle and turn on the daytime running lights and the hazards. Daytime running lights and hazards are working on the passenger side and they are also working on the driver's side. Now we just have to check the side marker. We'll do that, turn on the headlights. It looks like the side marker bulbs aren't working, so that means we need to flip them. So we'll take it out right here, flip it around, and there we go. Put it back in. Now we got a side marker light. Now that that's all finished, we just got to put this little flap in. Got this grommet right here, put it back into the bumper. And we'll do that to the other side, and then we're ready to put the bumper back on. Now the easiest way to do this is to have a couple grommets in your hand. So you just pop them in once you get the bumper lifted up. So I'm going to get them ready. Let's go ahead and lift this bumper gently up. Just like that, got one in there. Now it's pretty much just line everything up and pop them all in. Now when installing a grommet, make sure you pull the center out and then you'll push in like that and then you'll push the center in and then it's done. Last thing to do is install the radiator dust cover. It's pretty much super simple, you just kind of pop it over. And that's it. Take off the protective film and admire the brand new headlight. Hey, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell. If you don't click the bell, you will not get notified of my future uploads. So hit subscribe, click the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.